Good morning, Christian brothers and sisters. So I just wanted to share a short word with you. Um, so this morning I was thinking about God's perimeters and God's standards. And we were created in the image of God, right? We were created in the image of God. And so that means that we can't do sin and expect a good outcome because his image is holy since God is holy, right? And so repeatedly in the Bible, especially in the book of Psalms, it says if people scheme to do evil, if they devise and, you know, they plot deceptions and stuff like that upon their mind or upon their heart, if they do this, then they're going to fall into a ditch. They're going to fall into their own scheme. They're going to fall into their own pit of deception. Because we were all created in the holy image of God. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was um, God's standards, God's parameters. That's what I wanted to talk about. So it's impossible for man to go into space when man was meant to breathe air. God created us to breathe air. But yet man says we want to go into space where there's no air. Does that even make any sense? No, it doesn't. That's why when man goes into space with their breathable body, they have issues. They have troubles. Those two, um, what are they called? Uh, astronauts. They're stuck in space. They've been stuck in space for like, I think, 40 days or something like that. And NASA doesn't know what to do. They really don't know what to do. They've been stuck in space for 40 days. They've been trying to plan something for about two or three weeks. NASA and they don't know what to do they really don't that's because they planned NASA's plan was hey let's go ahead and go out into space and let's just do some things and the Bible says may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven not may your will be done in space as it will be done in heaven man is always trying to reach the heavens without actually reaching God Saying that there's something more out there in space, in the heavens. But we don't have to go to God. Devising evil, going against God. Saying that we are God, we can reach the heavens without actually reaching the spiritual heavens. So, this is what I wanted to say. I just wanted to say this. God has created everything in the earth and created the earth itself. Created all, all of the entire universe. Created these rules and these standards. He created us to live in these standards, to live in, in these ways, in these ways that are always good and true. And if we refuse to follow these standards, if we refuse to follow him who created these standards, if we refuse to have a relationship with him and look to him and focus on him, then we're going to get what we deserve. We're going to get, we're going to get bit. We're going to get our hand bit. Just putting our hand into something in which we shouldn't be in. Going into places in which we shouldn't be in. Saying certain things out of this image. Or thinking certain things out of this image. This godly image. That we shouldn't be saying or we shouldn't be doing. We're going to get bit. But that's why we have Jesus Christ. That's why God has given us the grace and the mercy. So that we could turn our back, have a chance to turn our back upon sin, turn our back upon the evil that we have done and that we have thought of, that we have plotted. So that we can draw in a closer relationship with God or start a relationship with God. And so I'll just end this video like this. God does love you and Jesus loves you very much. And he does not wish anyone to perish, but it's your choice if you want to perish or not, like, check this out. Everything is like right before us. Like his rules, his standards are right before us. Man, wow, let me say this. Human beings can't fly on an airplane without certain consequences. There are thousands, millions, probably millions, millions of flights every year. But probably one or two flights crash. Maybe even three. And people perish and die. And they don't learn their lesson. Now, am I saying that, hey, we're not, you're not supposed to fly a plane or anything like that? No. 
I'm just saying there's certain rules and certain standards that you have to oblige by. You have to. Am I saying don't ever drive, drive a car, don't ever take a bus, don't ever take a train? No. I'm just saying, hey, listen, the God's standards are the way that they are. And if you mm, give yourself enough to something that is outside of his standard, that is outside of his perimeter, that is outside of his, his, I'm going to say rules, something that is outside, that is in your imagination, but yet outside of the way that he needs for his holy image, his image in you to go, then eventually at some given point in time, you're going to, you're going to pay the price. You will. And there's nothing that we can do about it. The government can't help you. Mm. You know how people jump out of planes? You know, uh, what's, what are they called? Uh, par parachutists or something like that? Uh, something like that. They jump out of planes with a parachute or they 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 air glide and stuff like that. You know how they do that? You know, when they jump out of a plane, their ears start to pop. They get all this wind in their face and stuff like that. And their face looks um, discombobulated and stuff like that. Their, their skin starts, you know, going like that. And they don't look like the image of God anymore. Instead, they look like, I don't know, like an, an animal. They look just, just strange. So that's just kind of like a preview of, hey, you're not supposed to be up there. Hey, that's not, that's not who you are. You were created in the image of God. And your godly image belongs to the spirit of God. They go together just nicely. They make peace with one another. So all this uh, stuff as far as, you know, we're supposed to go out in space and, oh, yeah, I, I was born a boy, but yet I want to be a girl. That's that's not going to work. Giving yourself to a singing group. And saying, oh yeah, I want to be exactly like them. And I want to I want to be this, I want to be that. But yet, if you don't come back to God's spirit, then you're going to get what you deserve. Because your holy image, the holy image that God has given you does not belong to anything else except for the spirit of God. But that's all I got to say, guys. I just want to say I love you. I got to get to work. Jesus first, God first, and may the kingdom always come first. Stay blessed in the Holy Spirit. Amen.